Um, hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. I had a very um, vivid dream concerning um, Joel Osteen, and I wanted to share it with you guys. And also, um, um, I take no pleasure in exposing this man. Uh, the only reason I'm making this video is because God shared a dream with me, and he wants me to share it with you. So basically, um, as the sh as the dream started, I was at a mega church, and 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 Joel Osteen was the pastor. You know, if you guys seen one of it, one of his um, videos where it's him, and there's like thousands of thousands of people. It's like a mega church, basically. So I was at this mega church. He was the one speaking, and and um, remember, this is a Christian church. So he was speaking. He was speaking about motivation, living the good life, how. Um, God wants us to have these luxurious things like the usual stuff if you like tune into one of his um, shows or whatever one of his um, sermons you'll you'll see what he's talking about so basically he was I, I don't even consider Joel Osteen a Christian pastor he's, a, he's basically a motivation speaker talks about living the good life and stuff like that so he was basically saying oh oh God wants us to live a la lavish life and he was talking about like material things and when he was saying this I'm like, wait a minute, the, 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 this, he's been speaking for like a couple of, a couple, like 30, 40 minutes. I'm like, not one time he talked about the rapture. And, and at that time when I was listening to him speak, I had my laptop with him. And while he was speaking, he had, um, he had his thing, um, he had a, he had a PowerPoint, a projector and the stuff he was speaking out, it was listed in bullet points. So I had my laptop with him and then I hacked, I don't know how, but in my dream I hacked into this PowerPoint or whatever. And then I think um, I wrote, I wrote on one of the bullets, I wrote talk about the rapture. And then people at the church looked confused. They're like, what? And there was like hundreds, like thousands of thousands of people at the church, the mega church, right? And people were looking at each other, huh, what's a rapture? And like... And then I'm thinking to myself, wait, you guys go to church every Sunday, you don't know what a rapture is? What kind of service do you go to? And then the people looked all confused and then Joel said, oh, I won't speak about such a disgusting su subject. I'm like, what? A disgusting subject? You're talking about living a lavish life and you don't, you're not going to speak about the rapture at the end of, at end of your service? And then after that, I just lost it. I just closed my laptop and left. And I was leaving, I noticed everyone at, at, at this church, they're all wearing black and white, every single person, and they look, they, they just look like zombies, they, they didn't look like they had emotion, they were just glued to Joel Osteen's smile, basically. I remember Joel Osteen, and then after having the stream, um, I googled um, Joel Osteen talking about the rapture, I couldn't find any, imagine this man is, one, is the most popular um, Christian preacher at this time, and he's not preaching about the rapture. Of what's gonna happen what, what, like all these people that um, don't know about the rapture what if they get left behind what are they gonna tell ask Joe what what just happened he's gonna be like all oh, the aliens took him the government's right so yeah and remember the rapture um, can happen at any moment so if he if he's not he has he has hundreds of thousands of followers and if he's not um, letting people know what's gonna happen Basically, those people's bloods are going to be on his hands when they don't get raptured and they go through the um, tribulation because he had the opportunity every Sunday to talk to them about it and he didn't. You can go look this up yourself. He's I, I, I personally could not find a single video of him talking about the rapture. And I don't even think of um, Joel Osteen as a Christian preacher. He's basically a motivational speaker. Like you watch one of his services, you, you get motivated, but motivated to live a good life. But remember... Jesus Christ never lived a good life, so why should we, like, this guy, the way this guy talks, he's talking about how, oh, um, God wants you to have this nice house, God wants you to be successful, God, okay, I'm not saying God doesn't want that, but if you go by what the Bible says, it says don't like things of this world, and if you're talking about God wanting wanting you to have a nice house, that's things of this world, that means you like, you like that, so and you shouldn't like things of this world, as the Bible says, Remember, Jesus never lived a good life. He, he was a. Um, he basically um at, he lived what thirty thirty three years, in the flesh on this earth, and at the end of his life, they they beat him, they, and they crucified him basically. So if Joel Osteen's church gets left behind after the during the rapture, like what's he gonna tell them? If when when every Sunday hundreds of thousands of people were listening to him and he wasn't talking about the rapture.
So yeah, this is what I wanted to share. Once again, I take no pleasure in exposing this man. I just, I'm just sharing this because God wants me to share it. And all glory to God because all glory belongs to him. Thanks for listening. In the description box of this video, I have a message. Please print it, email it, do anything you can to spread that message because we're not guaranteed another second, day, hour, minute. The rapture can happen at any moment, at any time. And, and we should warn as many people as we can. Okay, thanks for listening.